Hello guys and welcome to episode 10 of my Medieval 2 Total War campaign playing as Spain going for long campaign victory. Today we are continuing after taking Toulouse in what was a fantastic series of events. We managed to get ourselves a heroic victory and kill the army outside and the army inside and take it in the same turn. We're hoping to do the same today with Bordeaux because the French king has decided to sit outside of Bordeaux, which means we can attack him and then the garrison will be forced to reinforce and then we can kill both and take the settlement. So that's great. But first of all, <laughs> we need to attack this army in front of us. If I can get rid of this army, it will be a huge help. And I think we very much can do this because of the amount of artillery that they have, which makes their stack look strong, but takes away a lot of effective units. So, we have Johan, and he is absolutely baller. He's got 8 command, and we can also attempt a knight attack. Oh, that takes him up to 10. Wow, okay. Let's have a look at their army. Okay, so it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Uh, they got multiple ballistas and catapults, so I'm just going to have to be really careful with my cavalry. Otherwise, their front line's actually pretty solid. They have quite a lot of dudes for the front line. They've got mercenary spearmen, two, three town militia, and a spear militia. Otherwise, it's low strength range forces and some cav. We have a huge cavalry advantage, though, so I think we'll be absolutely fine. As long as I'm engaging these ballistas and the catapults in time, uh, they shouldn't really be a problem. We just got to really flank round, engage a couple of these mailed knights with some cavalry, and then uh, use the rest of the cavalry to just get into their range units as soon as possible whilst my meager front line holds theirs. We will see how it goes. Let's jump on in. It's definitely going to be an interesting battle. A little bit finicky, I imagine. But I'm hoping I can get rid of those mailed knights ASAP. Let's listen to the speech and see if it's a good one. Because this guy is very high on the command, and I imagine he would say something a bit different. The love of God is a thousand times stronger than any mortal armor. His wrath against our foes is a thousand times better than a thousand arrows. Our faith gives us his aid. And more, it will give us victory. Now, cry for the Virgin and look for that victory. Our French foes hold us, along with the rest of the world, in a scant regard. This is a mistake they repeat and repeat, being arrogant and wine sodden in equal measure, and thus as slow to learn from their errors. I see little reason to needlessly risk lives today. Let us rain death upon our foes and let them struggle to come to grips with us. Let's to the fires, men. And if, once the enemy are broken, you should come across some nubile nymph or toxic who takes your fancy, keep your hands off her. Rank hath privileges. I get first pick. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Okay. <laughs> oh, General Johan, he a horny mofo. <laughs> okay. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to set up our archers behind. We'll have the spear militia in front. We're going to make our line pretty thin, though. I should do the same with the archers so that we are more immune to the ballista fire. And then we're going to want to make sure that we have these on the flanks. So we'll put two of these on one side, we'll put these two on the other side. I will have my general spread out in the middle, hopefully he won't get hit. Thankfully we do have trees to hide in. Uh, but we are going to want to advance on them as soon as possible. Although it looks like they're actually moving, so that's good. Okay, nice. Right, let's 
get my cab on their flank though. Uh, we will run around to there. And I'm going to run up on the other flank as well. Oh, that peasant archer unit just got annihilated. I might just charge them with the uh, the mailed knights. Okay, we're gonna have to probably engage their cav on top of the uh, on top of the artillery. That's okay. We'll just come into the back here. Uh, let's just turn off skirmish and it looks like their cav I was going to say it should come and attack me uh, up there really I don't want to engage there thank you how are these doing I want to try and shoot the mounted sergeants we are actually hitting this bin militia pretty well right, let's go charge in there. And these are town militia, so technically I can charge them pretty well. Even frontally. Should be absolutely fine. I'm going to pull one of my cav off. And we'll go and hunt down their archers there. How is my front line doing? One of my units is not looking very healthy. Uh, let's have my general move around the side. Uh, back here, their mailed knights are actually doing pretty well. Somehow I always manage to mute the sound. Like I don't understand. There's, a, there's a, like a shortcut that I'm pressing every time, I swear. Also, my cab is really struggling right now. Interesting. Now I maybe could try and um, use the ranged abilities a bit more of my cav, but I don't think I really had time in this battle because the pressure of the artillery is quite high on the uh, cavalry. Um, let's just stop these from firing for a second. The enemy are badly blooded. We need to start they shooting. The enemy general flees like yeah. the coward he is. Actually, saying that, let's not do that. Break the spirit of his We're army. just going to let our, our general just charge in the back. Big damage. <laughs> there we go. Looks like we're all good. Oh, okay. Let's just let those arrows come in before we charge them. Praise the Almighty! Our enemy has lost his stomach to fight. We must push our advantage. Right, stop them firing. And run them down. Jolly good. I did lose quite a lot of cav in that. But I don't think I really need a huge army to deal with the next units that I'm attacking. Uh, there is a unit over there. I don't know how many men are in it. I like that my guys are trying to use javelins. I should probably 
turn off their javelins now so they don't friendly fire. We're almost done. Almost done here. This is a cool building. There we go. This is a clear Got victory him. that goes to only men of great virtue. I'm pretty sure this guy is full of dread. So we're perfectly okay to execute them. See ya. And now we've got to deal with their king. Alright. Now in the next battle we can be quite conservative because I can probably just pepper them with arrows. On our victims. Ooh, that's a full unit of mercenary Frankish knights, though. And that's two family members. Okay, so there's actually a lot of good cav. I will do a knight attack again. Actually, no, we don't want to do a knight attack because knight attack is like lightning strike and warhammer. And we want his reinforcements to join the fight. We will skirmish with them with my Spanish cav. And we'll just try and, you know, kill them with arrows, I think, is the plan. Uh, do I want to wait until it's... Oh, God. <laughs> I want it to be not snowing. I want it to be relatively clear. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Yeah, we'll just shift these forwards. I will have my spears in front. I kind of need them to be deeper because of the cav, but... I also need to protect my archers, so we're in a bit of a weird spot, really. Uh, let's put this one on the right. Okay. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. So in theory, they'll probably just charge me, right? But that's okay. As long as I catch them and we use our... Hmm. Let's just... I'm actually going to go and harass them. Just straight up. I think we're okay to like hit these in the flank honestly. My spear militia took a ton of damage from that charge. Oh I shouldn't have had these on, uh, oops. These should not be on skirmish. Uh, let's make sure we get those in on the flanks there. And we want to turn off. We just get our javelins in there. My front line has utterly disintegrated, but that's okay. Right, can we shoot these guys? Please. The enemy king is slain. A worthy enemy, but no less a dead. The enemy are nice. badly blooded. They have lost half their men. I don't even care about my spin militia at this point, just slaughter the general. Praise the Almighty! Our enemy has lost his stomach to fight. We must push our advantage. There we go. Alright. Now the reinforcements are some more mercenary Frankish knights, so we are gonna wanna deal with those a similar way, but we don't really have a front line to hold on to now. <laughs> These guys are definitely dead. I'm surprised they didn't break. I'm actually quite impressed. Medals for these guys. If they're still alive.
Alright, speed things up. Let the second army come in. We don't need to chase down the general's bodyguard because we already killed the king, so that's okay. The main thing is killing these mercenary Frankish knights. That is going to be the big thing that I really need to do because they're the ones that are actually going to be able to get away. So what we're going to do is I'm actually probably going to just focus those. Well, actually, let's not let them shoot my cab. Okay, let's go charge their peasant archers and kill those whilst we continue the engagement here. And then we can just charge into the back of the mercenary. The battle Cav. is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, only We've really got to catch this. Super important. Good. Good, 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 good. The enemy flees the battle. Right. Run We're right on top of them. Worthless peasants. Got them firing. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Uh, we just need to pull off the town militia. If we need them to be running away and not fighting, really. That is ideal for us. Mailed knight should be able to kill off these archers. Okay. And there should be Bordeaux under our control. The peasant archers run so fast. <laughs> they really do. My mailed knights can barely this keep up. This is a clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue and valor. Very, very nice. Yeah, using the javelins there worked out really well. So, uh, we just want to execute them again. And that should give us Bordeaux. <laughs> Johan the Merciless. Oh, yes. We shall send them to hell or worse. <laughs> Slaughter them all. We march through your enemy streets. Johan the Merciless. What an absolute baller. Love that name. Okay, uh I don't really need a chapel, but we could build one. It might be better to just put a port here. Although it'll probably get uh blockaded twenty four seven. I also need some no, new, uh... Oh, actually, okay. We still have one unit, that's fine. I thought they would be wiped out, but it looks like they recovered. So, he's got plus two dread. And he's a merciless conqueror. This man's continued lack of mercy for those he defeats in battle have earned him a great sense of dread. <laughs> nice. All right. Well, now the Pope's going to be like, excuse me, can you stop? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, my lord. We need to get my to see. chap on land there and <laughs> give him some money. Yes. To turn the other cheek. At least we can re-recruit some like ground forces from here. I can probably get some dismantled few dismant. Dismounted? Dis dismounted. <laughs> Feudal knights from there. Uh, we can retrain the mercenaries. Why not? We'll, come, we'll hold on to them. They've been a good part of that army. Who do I, uh, I also need to deal cheap. with that come army there, me. but let's just have a look at what's left to do. Alright, so we got no, Johan. He was an absolute boss. Order, We've got uh, Diego Bonner. He can take Arguin. Uh, it is only two turns until surrender, so I don't think we're actually going to fight that. I'm just going to siege him. They want to attack me, then that's fine, but using my cav there in the streets is going to be a nightmare, so we're not going to bother. 
Uh, let's see. He's chilling. He's chilling. Name thy enemy, Lord. Yes, my Lord. We're all good, I think. Yes, your orders, no of course, we do have the Battle of Gaza. Blessing and yours. We march to battle. So he's the faction heir. Okay. I don't really trust this, honestly. Because when it comes to, like, the faction leader or the faction heir, they can pull off some crazy order resolves, I remember. But because they have so many, like, high-level cav, it just, the order resolves is like, what? Uh, we probably should have waited, but it's fine. Oh, this has two walls. Oh, okay. We should probably save some equipment. Oh, we can use the... Ba we have two bannering rams, actually, so that's okay. Move out. We can... I think we can pick up the battering ram again anyway, so it's not a big deal. But I probably don't want to use all my ladders. That's one thing that we could hold on to. Uh, which ones do we want to send up the walls? We'll send my... Sudanese tribes went up with some Crusader sergeants. And we'll keep these two back. And we'll have these push first. There we go. Alright, lovely. Let's go to the walls here. Uh, we will have to go either side, by the thing, by the looks of things, because we can only put one set of ladders up there. There are towers. Okay, so the battering ram here might get burnt. What I might do is try and push up the second one as well, just so that if the first one gets messed up, we have the second one ready to go. Uh, meanwhile, these guys can go and tr try and start getting shots onto the dismounted Arab cavalry. And otherwise, we're just chilling. Alright. Let's go ahead and Get that bash down, please. We didn't manage to make it to the gate, so happy about that. Our men have reached the wall. The Sudanese tribesmen versus dismounted Arab cav. I guess we'll see how that goes. Looks like the archers weren't really doing a great job there. We'll spread them out and run them back. I want to try and move the battering ram into a position where it can't be shot by the tower. A Sydney's tribesmen might actually have a hard time here. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're going to do too well on the walls. Ram has done its work. Now is the time for brave hearts and brave deeds. But what we can do is the unit that's coming up on that side and the unit that's just got in. We can run inside, and get up behind them. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. All right, let's get them up in there behind them. They are actually shaken. Other Sudanese tribesmen doing? They're steady. Okay, nice. Oh, they're running away. They're going to get slaughtered. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging. Only half the enemy force remains. Yeah, we've uh, just wiped them out completely. All right, uh, let's get the next set of ladders in because it looks like the general is staying in the middle. And if I can put the ladders up, 
Uh, maybe I give the ladders to the archers. Let's get my cab inside, get my general in there. I don't know about these Crusader Knights, they're not really, not really necessary. I mean, we could actually use some of these to run down those guys as they run away so they don't capture another tower. But good job, Sudanese tribesmen, me. They did way better than I expected. Let's go run them down. Please. <laughs> Please get them. There's one guy left. Kill him. There you go. Oh, we're currently waiting for the ladders and stuff to come through. Uh, let's have the Sydney's tribesmen come over here. We'll get those Crusader sergeants up. Bodyguards chilling. Alright, we're going to drop the ram. And we're going to give them the ladders. Where's my other archer unit? They are miles away. Pick up the ladders, boys. Yeah, going up. There's nothing to contest them on the walls. We can just sit there shooting them. Right, nice of you to join us, archers. Sieges are so cool in this game. They really are. And the way you actually have to use ladders and stuff like this is, is really awesome. We're just going to line up in front of the gate so the cab can't come out. With our spears. And we'll just line up and shoot them. Oh, they are going to come out. It's okay. Oh, 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 are all of my javelins being thrown? I didn't expect them to actually charge out like this, but I guess they're kind of forced to if I'm going to shoot them. We should probably stop these firing, honestly. At least they're not capturing the towers while they're taking this engagement. And I'm quite happy to drain my spear militia to do this. I might even... Eh, do I want to use Crusader Sergeants? I'd rather keep them healthy, I think. We could always send the spear militia back to get retrained. We'll pull these out of there so they don't get completely killed. Hmm. Maybe the play is to like actually pull them out. Okay. Now we can just shoot them again. Interesting. Alright. Well, if maybe if it is because I was too close to the gate. Yeah, they're just gonna let me know. And if they get too close, they just take javelins to the base. Uh, let's the enemy end the battle. The battle. All of there we will go. All, all right. Well, maybe took a few more losses than I would have liked, but it's okay. A most honorable victory, right, my noble lord. Go ahead and These lands sack yours, this one. I'm gonna sack it because I want the money. That was actually quite a lot of money for a settlement like this. And generally, castles don't have as much problems with public order. So I think we're okay. We can pop in a small chapel immediately. And I can even get the Sudanese tribesmen 
sorted out. Actually, if I merge those, yeah, we'll just merge them and do it. It's fine. Oh, it merged automatically merged the other units. Ah, I always forget it does that. It's okay. It actually doesn't matter that much. It's so I don't mind. Actually, when it comes to the cab here, I definitely mind. Too late now. Too late now. There was a lot of high rank Spanish cav that got merged there. <laughs> Oof. Because the whole reason I took the castle in the first place was to retrain them. <laughs> I'm such a dumbass. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. We can always re recruit new ones. And honestly, we could replace them with feudal knights. As they are an option now. Which is cool. I mean, we could at least grab a couple of them. Orders. We can't retrain Crusader Knights, can we? I'm almost tempted to disband this nice. unit. Its upkeep's only 15, though. It doesn't matter for now. We can just charge them into a battle. Alright. Uh, let's see. Orders, Nothing one. else I don't think to do. Orders, yes, orders, also, one. big thanks, yes. by the way, guys, orders, uh, for orders, a tip orders, about there being a castle down here. I did not realize that was the case. Uh, we will have to go and deal with that. I'm actually going to send my priest down here to go have a look at what's up. Traveling with God. Continuing to God's uh, we can success. go this way as well, actually. Yes, my lord. We'll follow the road. Continuing tomorrow, my lord. This is going to be completely... My lord. Yeah, <laughs> completely Muslim, isn't it? Uh, as opposed to Catholic. Hmm. Alright, well, well, we'll keep popping out more and more priests here once we have the chance. Uh, the other thing that I did want to do is send back my spear militia. Yes. So we can do that sooner than later. March. I'm tempted to send my lord. like a replacement, Orders. but not really necessary. Also, now we have the cash, uh, I might as well be building other buildings here. Like, Pavi's crossbowmen would be so useful. Let's grab that. And the other thing we can do, potentially, is build some ships. Let's do that. Uh, we should also move out this yes. unit. We don't need it in there anymore. Onward. We can Let's add it to that back. army. Oh, we do have a priest Lord. in Lisbon. Yes. He's been chilling there. How's he doing? With God. He's got plus one piety, minus one purity. Okay, he's fine. Absolutely fine. He is nice. Purge of heresy. What's that? Plus three piety, plus two eligibility, plus three purity, plus two violence. <laughs> I guess that helps with making him the Pope, maybe? There's some like odd traits there. Yes, Lord. God's servant. I'm going to put him in here and we'll switch these God's out. Servant. So he can help make this Catholic and we can make the other region Catholic there. We would see you dead, heathen. Uh, what Talk is this army? Come face I'm me. almost tempted to run out and attack them. Do we have a mission not to attack them? No. Uh, but the Pope really doesn't like me right now, so I really do need yes, to be careful. Because I think if you make him hate you enough, he will just straight up excommunicate you out of nowhere. But we don't want, obviously want that to happen. Uh, do I need to create more merchants here? Okay, I already am. We can add the land clearance in here. Absolutely. And I'll put a church there as well. And then we'll end the turn. <laughs> My merchant walking to his doom. <laughs> Alright, France is backing off. That's good. Hopefully, I can peace out with them. That would be nice. A bride presented. Sure. Yeah, so we got the cease hostilities with France. Makes sense. 
Um, and then I, lo I love the way that the Council of Nobles always contradicts the Pope. Every time. Oh, nice. We got another one. There we go. Bam. Just like that. My lord. Very nice. Nice. We've got three cardinals now. Does that make him like me more? It does. Alright, we are not the strongest faction, the Holy Roman Empire is. We are meant the most advanced, though. Uh, we have highest production, highest overall. Constance, family tragedy. Okay. Little chapel in Gaza. Pop out a priest there. Actually, didn't I have... One second. I was building something. There's a horse breeders guild here. The Ologens guild. Yeah, I need to build them here. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't want to build priests there. We want to build priests here. Because that way they're all high level. My lord. Very good, my lord. Yes, lord. God I will leave this one here. Uh, there is a rebel army outside our settlement now. Which is a little bit of a pain. We'll send that guy over there to go fix, go fix stuff instead. And time to retrain. Uh, I'm actually going to merge those. Orders, your majesty. Oh no, never mind. Uh, I think this one's full strength, isn't yes. it? Well, we'll just put the mailed knights in there. I think that's just going to give them extra armor or something. All right, Toledo got some dismounted feudal knights, which is very cool. Uh, we'll just pop them in the army. And we should be able to just order resolve this. Good. We show little mercy. They deserve none. Let me strike, my lord. A little bit of a pain when it comes to making my army not exact numbers. <laughs> the OCD there. <laughs> it's like when it's 54 and not 80. <laughs> anyway, that's fine. He's got extra loyalty. We have the extra galleys here, which is nice. I should build a couple more as well. We have the extra money coming in now, which is good. Uh, let's go to Marseille. Uh, that's okay. We'll go ahead and build another Spear Militia here. And I really yes. want to try and get this army out of here now. Right, let's get my merchant out of here. Please don't be terrible. Oh, come on. Ready to trade. He is pretty damn awful. Uh... I mean, we can put them on the slaves, why not? Opening trade lane. What else could we build here? We could get a catapult or a ballista. I could even get a blacksmith for light mail. Not sure. Like, I'm kind of tempted to come forwards and engage this army. But then there's the other army nearby. And defensively, it'd be much better for us to actually fight in the settlement. Um, here, what I should probably do is maybe add some crossbow militia that can sit on the walls and pepper them down. Or well, not even sit on the walls. We have like the spear militia on the walls and then we let them climb the walls and then we shoot them from below. That's usually the better way to do it. I'm going to add some in there. We'll add another spear militia there. Okay. It's going to be, what, one turn till that surrenders, so that's absolutely fine. He's chilling on the slaves, he's chilling on the ivory. Ready to trade. We're going to go for the ivory here. On my way. Yes, there's money in this man. Ready to trade. Ready to trade. He's almost making a thousand a turn. Ready to trade. Ready to trade. Very nice. 
Very nice indeed. Okay, uh, let's just have a look. Yeah, I don't really want to carry on too fast from these positions. Technically, I could put an army together and we go and attack further up. But alas. Yes, my lord. Uh, let's go and say hello to the Pope. Full sail. Just going to be kind of careful about this. Plotting course now, my lord. Leaving the ship. An honor. Is there something I can do for you, noble Okay. Lord? We will give him map information. I see no problem here. It is agreed. Excellent. We will... What else would you suggest? That improve our relation? Very poor. I think we just give him money. It seems we have reached an agreement. Another so I'm not sure how much we have to give we them to adjust course. our relations. I see no problem. Something just as useful, I hope. It seems we have I think proposition. We do like we maybe five hundred. I see no problem. something just as useful. It's not really helping. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just give him a thousand. That's what I was doing this before. Reasonable. Excellent. What else would you suggest? Have some more money. <laughs> it seems yeah, it seems like thousand agreed. actually Another makes a difference. We shall listen, of course. I'm just goodbye. gonna say it has been goodbye to him. And that's a Polish diplomat. Naturally, that's cool. Lord. Oh, we're still at war with Milan, aren't yes. we? What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to come back yes, with this Your fleet. Because I need yes. to get them fixed up. Uh, do I have a ship right here? I don't. Hmm. Yes. What I am going to do, though... Is kill this guy. Oh, a man of honor. A man of the hours, right? Cool. Don't mind if I do. Join my ranks. Uh, we're going to go to Toulouse and we're going to merge these armies. I might actually keep Enrique at Marseille. Does any of these affect. Public order. That one does. The social drinker. Your will. Yeah, maybe we we use him in Marseille for the time being, just to be a governor. Yes. Who do I face? All right. Name thy enemy, Lord. Let's just double check. Command me. He's just gonna stay orders, there for the time noble, being. Your orders, noble one. Your orders, noble one. Who do I face? Your orders. Orders, For the most one. part, I think yes, we're just waiting orders, a turn to see one. what happens orders. with the AI, orders, and then orders. we'll go from there. Yes, my lord. Yes. Ready to trade. Any agents Ready and stuff I want to move. God's servant. I mean, he can carry on Very down here. Sire. We'll go and do this again. Likely that we're probably going to lose the 95% at some point. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. What I need to do is get a mod that like shows me how much movement range units have. Because I've definitely missed out a couple times. Uh, right, we'll just come up to this settlement, I guess. To say hello to the Turks. Okay. And unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode, uh, we'll probably just move straight on to the next turn. We'll see where these... Egyptian armies go because things are getting a little bit tense in Egypt. I'm going to have to certainly start recruiting some more troops soon. It's just obviously when you exterminate everyone, you don't really have much of a population to recruit from. So it's going to take a couple turns until we really bolster those armies. Uh, but yeah, we're looking tidy in southern France. And we'll probably just try and peace out of them if we can, although they don't have a, a guy nearby. Maybe what I will do is bump into a diplomat over here somewhere of France and we can talk to them. 
but we'll see. That's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.